Some people don't believe I'm not for you mm-hmm. when I tell them. Because I don't know, I don't look out for you. Like some, somebody will come up to me and say, it's not speaking Spanish or something. Or- One of the kids said, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. And Innocent like was fine yeah. not next to me. And then he was like, y'all don't look at me. Like, you guys look a little lighter. I thought y'all were that dirty jet black color. Oh. <laughs> I fully accepted the fact that my way of being Ghanaian is not going to be the same as somebody that is born and raised in Ghana. And that's going to be different. And I'm going to be laughed at sometimes. I'm going to feel embarrassed sometimes. But that's just who I am. I can't, I'm going to speak to you with a certain accent. Or there's just some things that I'm not going to know. And so those things you just have to accept. And I've learned to do that. Um, but it's something that I'm very, very particular about. Like, I hate when I feel like culture is only confined to these particular things. I get really frustrated because um, African Americans tell me I don't look African. And then I walk into an African restaurant, a Sierra Leonean restaurant, and they're asking me, oh, you, you like African food? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, you know, I don't, even Africans fall into this trap where it's like, you have to look a certain way to, to be African. And there's no, like Rocky said, there's no category of what African looks like. I mean, look at this room, you guys, Different shades, different features, there's no one way to be African.